Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I'm going to be planning uh, in my Dollar Tree planner again this week. This is my social media planner, and I'm using one of the doll stickers uh, from JD in Brooklyn as my focal point for the week of June 17th through the 23rd. This is the washi tape that I'm going to be using. So I'm starting out with this floral washi that fits right in the gray area and I'm using it to cover the gray and the day of the week because I'm going to come back with a sticker for the day of the week. This washi is from the Petals and Bloom collection from Hobby Lobby. I think they still sell this, I'm not sure, but it is from Hobby Lobby and I'm doing the alternate days like I normally do. And then I'm going to come back in with the dark gray washi tape from Simply Gilded and it has gold bows. And I'm just going to fill in those other days and cover the gray. And also during this whole video, I'm having problems with my hands cramping. I had to stop several times. Um, if you look carefully, you'll probably be able to catch when I'm having a cramp in my hand. Um, I finally figured out what was causing that. I've been dealing with that for quite a while. So, but anyway, here is where I'm going to place the doll and just lining her up and sticking her down. And I'm going to come back in with a Juneteenth sticker. It's just a word sticker that I made when I um, print and cut the dolls. This was a, the doll was a digital from JD in Brooklyn. So I print and cut those myself. And I made the Juneteenth word myself. I'm using the petals washi that I think I got this washi tape from Walmart. And it's just individual petals that you have to put together to build your own flowers. It took me a little while to kind of get the hang of it. I'm still not that great at it, but I love the idea. It's just not as simple as I thought it might be. Just it's probably gonna take a little practice, but I still really like this. But back to my hands cramping, yeah, I figured out that it is coffee and tea. And I'm not really a heavy coffee drinker. Um, on this particular day, uh, my daughter and I went out early and got a Frappuccino. And I was drinking it while I was working in my office and right before I recorded this video. And yeah, my hands started cramping. I'd noticed previously that it was happening when I drank tea. So I already stopped drinking tea. But now it looks like I can't drink the coffee either. And decaf causes it to happen too. So that won't work either. So I don't know if it's the caffeine or not. It I don't know. Because I've had soda with caffeine and so far it has not caused my hands to cramp. So I don't know. So anyway, I'm just trying to make these flowers look more like flowers instead of little blobs. So I'm repositioning some of the petals. So I'm just trimming off the overhang on that particular petal. And even though I wanted to keep my header empty, I'm gonna use this washi tape um, to make a little banner up there that says, Hello Beautiful. And I'm gonna try and use it to cover the calendars in the top right corner, try to position it so that it will work that way. But um, I ended up fidgeting with this quite a bit. It did not work the way I wanted it to the way I envisioned, so I had to make a few changes. What I end up doing is adding some of the floral washi to cover up the rest of the calendar that the Hello tape was not covering.
And then just to keep it balanced, I went ahead and ran another piece on the other page as well. These are the Chrissy Ann Design stickers that I got from Michaels. I think they still have these. And I'm using them for the days of the week. And then for the weekend, I'm just going to use the weekend sticker. And I'm going to take these three stars and put over Juneteenth. And then I'm going to come in with this Remember banner from the Paper Studio Agenda 52 stickers to put over that. And I'm going to use the Enjoy Life sticker in the box for Thursday. I'm going to get the checklist stickers. And I'm using checklist stickers on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and then a small one on Thursday as well. I'm gonna use my ceramic blade to cut off uh, two of the blocks on the Friday checklist to add it to Thursday. I can never cut straight with this ceramic blade, so I'm trimming that up with the scissors. Then I'm gonna go back and try to straighten up the three boxes and it just gets worse, so I just left it alone. And here I'm putting in a sticker of string lights and then payday stickers. And then I didn't show it, but I also put in a hard work pays off sticker under the weekend. And here I'm going back to add more flowers or another flower and just trimming off the excess. And then I'm placing my buffer stickers so I can keep the queue full for my social media posts. And then here I'm putting down the PR post stickers. My hands were cramping up again. I could tell, <laughs> yeah, especially in my right hand, I can see it. Um, and this is a new release sticker. And then I'm gonna put down a work sticker on Monday. Here I'm just going in and noting that I need to upload this video for Monday and a few of the hashtags throughout the week that I want to pay attention to. So we got $2 Tuesday, Washi Wednesday, Throwback Thursday, Flashback Friday, and Fun Corner Friday. And then I'm just going to letter the word plan at the bottom. I'm not at a good angle for you to see what I'm actually writing. And I'm gonna try to work on that when I'm writing to make sure it's at a good angle for you to see. Here, I'm just going in filling in the bottom of each letter. And then I'm gonna go back and just clean up the lines and darken the lines. just checking to make sure it's not bleeding through the other side. There is some shadowing and if I'd have colored a little bit more, it would have bled through, but I stopped right in the nick of time, so. So, and also to highlight the PR post, I'm using this washi tape from JDM Brooklyn. It's got the girl with the bun and I'm just putting an individual girl to put beside each PR post sticker. And I think that helps make those stickers stand out a little more on the spread. Plus she's my favorite JD and Brooklyn doll. So I really like to use her likeness. So I hope you enjoyed this week's spread. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.